everyone, this is Marla from Daisy DIY Flowers and I'm gonna show you today how to make an arrangement to go on an arch or something hanging. I'm gonna start with an oasis holder like this. It's got a loop here that can hold like a zip tie or wire and then a handle here also. Now, depending on how you're gonna hang it is how you're gonna make it. If it's gonna go on a corner or a center, that you'll just wanna take that in consideration. If it's gonna go on the center, you're gonna take each side out um, and make each side equal. If it's gonna hang and go like on a corner, which I see the majority of the time, then you're gonna to wanna to do it this way and have some coming up and some making the turn. So I'm gonna make this flat, but this will give you a great idea of how easy these are to make and do yourself. This holder is available on Amazon. You can also get it at Hobby Lobby, they carry them too. And you wanna make sure that it comes with the Oasis for fresh, fresh flowers. You'll wanna make sure that this is soaked really good, submerged in water before you begin. And something like this, you don't wanna to do too far ahead. You could add the greens and prep it the day before, and then the day of add the flowers, or even hang it and then add the flowers. But you don't wanna add the flowers any more than the day before, just because, um, this foam doesn't have a water source after you've pulled it out of the water and it will can, it'll begin to dry out. But super simple once you get the greens in to add the flowers. So I'm gonna make this one as if it was hanging on, gonna hang on a corner. And I'm gonna start with greenery and that is gonna give me the shape of what, how I want it to go. I have my flowers kind of all laid out ready so it's easy for me just to grab stuff and be quick. I'm gonna switch to snips. long enough I don't even really need to cut them. So I'm just kind of getting my shape and then I'm going to fill in from there. And I don't have to have it completely solid. make sure it's got for the curve of the arch that it may be hanging on. Also just a, um, an arch filled with mixed greenery is beautiful hanging outside also even if you don't add fresh flowers to it. If you wanna save your flowers for other items, you can just do, a, do all greenery. Now I'm gonna to start to kind of fill in closer. And I'm gonna finish a little bit of leather leaf. You can take a piece of leather leaf like this and cut it and get double use out of it. I cut it in third or fourth. That's what I'm doing here. Now I'm gonna uh, begin just to kind of fill in that top foam part. I 
if I pick this up, you can kind of see that I still have kind of holes where I can see the foam, but I can see the shape that I'm going to have, and that's okay. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to begin to add my flowers, and once I've added the flowers, I'll backfill in with more greenery.
Okay, now I've got all my flowers added in and I'm gonna just backfill, or excuse me, or add in greens. Pretty. I use big pieces like like this one to add in. See how quick this goes? So why you could actually um, add, kind of start it at home and then finish it at the venue or at, when you hang it. clean up and then I'm going to show you my end result. Okay, I'm all done and I'm cleaned up and I'm just holding it up for you so you can see how big and beautiful and easy this was to do. Something you can do in your kitchen just like I did. Thank you for watching and following Daisy DIY Flowers.